Good morning, students. Welcome to our lesson for today. Let's start with the brain teaser. Match the word with the pictures. On a piece of paper, write the number of the word together with the letter of the picture that matches it. Pause this video and come back when you are done matching all seven words to seven pictures. Did you get them all correct? If you miss some words, write them on your paper and at the end of this lesson, define them using what you have learned today. In this lesson, we're going to draw circles and arcs using a pair of compasses, a ruler, and a protractor. The keywords that we will be using, circumference, radius, diameter, arc, sector, chord, and segment. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to use these words confidently. Let's draw a circle with a radius of 6 cm. The first thing to do is to mark your center. So draw a small dot to represent the center of your circle. Then open your compass to a radius of 6 cm. You can adjust it, but make sure that it opens at 6 cm. Then place the needle on the dot. Make sure that your compass point stays on this dot as you carefully draw the circle. Make sure that the opening doesn't change. That is very important. And then you have it. This is a circle of radius 6 cm. You can label the center as C or any letter that you would be needing. Let's draw an arc with 8 cm radius and a central angle of 70. In here, we will use a ruler, a protractor, and a compass. So first, mark a small dot to represent the center of the circle and then draw two dotted lines from the center that are 70 degrees apart. So first, use the ruler. You can measure the first radius of 8 cm. So you will draw it. The first dotted line, 8 centimeters. And then, use your protractor to measure the 70 degrees. So, when you use your protractor, make sure that the center of your protractor is on the dot here. Okay? Then, use the outer scale because that's where 0 is on the line. And go 70 degrees. So, this is 70 degrees. And you have to mark that angle. And then use that later to trace the other dotted line that is 70 degrees apart from the first line that we did. Okay. Then now we use our ruler again to draw the second dotted line from the center. So these two dotted lines must meet at our center point. So this is the second line. It's 8 centimeters. And then open your compass at 8 cm radius, put a needle on the center, and carefully draw the arc at 70 degrees. That's 70 degrees now. Okay, so this is the arc of 70 degrees. As the central angle is 70 degrees, the arc is also 70 degrees, so you can label them. Central angle is 70 degrees. The arc is 70 degrees. Take note that this arc is a part of a circle. So if you draw a circle around, it will look like this. The whole circle. Okay. And actually, this circumference of this circle is an arc of 360 degrees. You should be able to follow those steps in constructing arcs and circles. Try this exercise. On an A4 sheet of paper, draw the diagram by following all the instructions that are given. Pause this video and come back when you are done with it to check your work. Your diagram should look like this. And what can we say about point A? Yes, all of the circles touches point A. Now, base your work on your notebook and continue working on page 121 of your course book, question 1 and 3. If you were not able to do the diagram like this, 
work it out again until you get it correctly. Let's take a look at this exercise. What do you think will happen? Make an accurate copy of the diagram on an A4 sheet of paper. Follow all the instructions that are given. In here, you will be looking at how the central angle C, the arc AB, and the inscribed angle D are related to each other. Pause this video and come back when you are done with the exercise. So what did you discover? Let's take a look at the illustration to see what happens. You should have this diagram. So if the central angle is 80, the arc is also 80. Now look at the inscribed angle D. It is 40, which is half of the central angle. Let's see what happens when we move the D. So you see, as we move D on the circumference, in the major arc of the circumference of the circle, 40 stays the same. So the inscribed angle is always half the central angle, or it's always half the arc.